from this week, I will always remember that God is with me always. Um, for lots of my life, I've been taught, you know, based on my background or my identity, that God loves me, but X, Y, Z. But from this week, I've been taught that God loves me unconditionally, no matter what, no matter how many mistakes that I make, no matter who I am or where I come from, that God just loves me for who I am. The way I'm going to apply what I learned this week outside of camp is by just even through like the darkest times or like where I feel like I'm really struggling, I'm going to always try to say to myself, God is there with me. I'm not doing this alone. So I have nothing. Well, I do have things to fear about, but like it's not it's not like crazy. I can just like relax and be like, God, you've got this. Like just lead me where I need to be right now. He alone is God. So where else would you go? Where else would you go for life at its fullest? Where else would you go for answers? Where else would you go for a, that kind of adventure where you could trust him? Remember the text that we looked at this morning, Psalm 18, it was so good. There's this one line in it that says, for who is God beside the Lord? Who is God beside Yahweh? That's his personal name. Beside this God, the great I am, there's no other God but him. And so as we think about following him down the road, the question is, where, where else would I go? Who else would I go to? Am I gonna trust people? Am I gonna trust the world and its wisdom? Am I gonna trust what everybody else is doing? Am I gonna trust even my own wisdom? Or am I gonna follow him down the road? I'll apply what I learned at camp at home when like there's conflict going on and I'll always know that God is in between everything and even when I'm at my darkest time at home, He's always right by my side. Um, one thing I take away from this week that I learned about God is um, how powerful His Word is, um, how powerful the Scripture is. Um, I, uh, I've just been, this week I've really just been kind of diving, you know, diving in and digging into that a little bit more and really kind of um, relocating myself in His Word um, and just kind of working on just like getting myself straight forward and, you know, kind of getting all like the, you know, like the stuff that doesn't matter out of the way, you know, kind of putting Him in the forefront and just acting in His Word and acting in His image.
Ponderosa Lodge is a place where you can feel God's presence um, in a way that you can't always when you're out of um, this place, but it also shows you what life can be like if you truly live through God.